We get asked all the time, how did you know what God was calling you to Thailand to do? How did you know how to do it? How did you find the kids? The answers to those questions are always the same. We didn't, we don't, and we haven't. God has only given us a clear view of the step we're on, and even then, He withholds just enough information from us to keep us completely dependent on Him. We rarely can see even a week ahead of where we're at, and we make more than enough mistakes to keep us abundantly humbled. This year has been an extremely difficult one with Robbie's motorbike accident in February and the head injury that resulted from it. A few months of dealing with that and then our girls and the volunteer we had here at the time, Shelby, allowed us to plan a retreat to try to get away and just recover. Uh, on the morning that we were supposed to leave, um, right as we were about to walk out the door, several vehicles full of government workers showed up. And as it turned out, the process that we were going through in order to get the official license for our children's home wasn't acceptable. And they made it very clear that morning that while they were supportive of what we were doing, we really needed to make some changes. Um, it has been really, really awesome to see how God has clearly led from the beginning. Because when we built the dormitory, we didn't have the requirements and we didn't know any of the laws that were needing to be followed and but when the the officials came over and visited us um, the dimensions for each room and the amount of bathrooms that we needed for each for the children um, we had already met and we were actually well above the requirements for that and so that was just really really neat to see how God had really led we also had a group in March that came far out mission and um, they built a small house for one of the staff members here and they also decided that they were actually put in a playground and so they began work on a playground and when we received the requirements for the children's home playground was one of them and so it was something that was already met and God had already designed to happen but there are still a few things that we're, we're having to do, and there are safety th issues. And one of them is building a fence around this pond and uh, to keep the children from going down to the pond so easily. And we also will be building a wall around our swimming pool. Most of our kids have come in groups or in pairs. Um, we have only a few that have come alone. And um, I think that's been really helpful for all of them as they're kind of integrating in. They have people that they know. Um, and because a lot of our kids have come from similar situations or they are all coming to the same place and they're experiencing some of those same emotions, they can sympathize with the new ones that are coming in. And I think that's really helpful. And we've seen really amazing growth in all of them. We've seen some of them that come completely disobedient and not wanting to listen at all, kind of, kind of depressed, um, not really having a lot of joy. Like they're now some of our happiest kids and some of our most helpful kids in helping the other kids to um, learn to listen and obey. And I think that's such a testament to what God is doing in each of their lives, something that we can't do. So a while ago, one of the teachers from the kids' school contacted us um, and asked us to go like four times a week to uh, interact and play games with the kids in English. And Robbie has been doing that for a couple months now. He'll go um, Monday through Thursday for um, an hour each day, and he'll just um, talk with the kids and do different things with them in English so that they can improve their English a little bit. In March, we had the group come, 
and while they were here, I went with them to the school and we played games and sung some songs with the kids. And I really enjoyed it. And ever since then, I've been wanting to take a couple of days in the week that Robbie usually does and just go play games with the kids. Um, and so I actually just last week went for the first time. So that day it was grade four. And we actually have several kids, um, several of our kids in that class. Um, and so I took Quinn with me, he wanted to go, um, and we just went and played games. Some things that we get to do together are like, we get to go on nature walks, we go on runs, we read stories together. And our meals are um, healthier, and we don't eat sugar. And uh, we spend time with the Thai kids some of the day, and we also have time to spend with Mommy, Daddy, Hannah, and Abby. Wow, that sounds bright. So often I get little messages from people who are encouraging us in what we're doing, and just people that are excited about what's happening and excited to be a part of it and support it. Uh, people offer their financial support, their prayer support, um, and I think something that's really important for people to understand is when you do that, not only are you helping reach the people here, the children here, anybody that God puts us into contact with, but you're also a part of God's plan to reach us, our own family. We started out as a core family of 10, and even though only seven of us came to Thailand, this call to be here is impacting every one of us. And so the support that we've had that has kept us here has done a work not only for the people of this place, but also for our own family in ways that we never could have imagined and probably we wouldn't have even wanted if we had known it was going to happen this way. But we're so grateful for everybody who's um, stood behind us and believed in us and really prayed us through to where we are right now. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.